Good morning and happy Sunday. I am super excited to bring you a vlog today. Yesterday we did a little cooking thing and the love for that was awesome. But today we're just going to do a little regular Sunday vlog. So what's going on today? It is a little after eight, actually it's like 8.45. I ran to Target this morning because I needed to pick up this. I am prepping my Halloween gift bags for our neighborhood. I only get about 20, maybe 24 trick-or-treaters, so I do a little extra. So full-size Kit Kat bars and then a bunch of little toys in bags. So I was able to find everything I needed at Target, which as you know, shelves are bare and not easy to come by right now. My actual plan was to go to a local bakery called Scratch Bake Shop that I love and have them custom make cookies for each of the kids in the neighborhood. However, they are so backlogged with custom orders, they weren't able to fulfill it um, because of staffing and everything. Sadly, so many people are experiencing that. So that's not going to happen. So I ran to Target this morning and picked up those things. Today, and shortly, Stephen is actually getting ready, we are going to head out on a little family hike. It's called Letchworth Park. It's about an hour from our home. And I'm actually going to be hunting and gathering some leaves for Thanksgiving uh, tablescape. So hopefully I find some. And yeah, that's what's going on. I'm wearing a throwback to one of my t-shirts in my merch shop. Someone asked, are you gonna have Vlogmas merch? Yes, and it's even better than last year's. It's really good. I have some of the designs almost finalized. I'm super excited. This hat is called Give Thanks. It's from an amazing black-owned business. Um, it's called Beacon Threads. They're incredible. I love all of their pieces. I'm gonna leave their shop link down below. Just go give them some love. Their stuff is so good and the quality is amazing. I have some sweatshirts from them. And then I have my North Face vest on because it is cold. It's only 48 degrees right now. And then if you are looking for a great pair of like trail shoes that aren't hiking boots. These are the Nike Trex. They are so, 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 so comfortable and they have great traction. They're great for like a nature walk that isn't necessarily a hike. I just love them to pieces. We are giving the Tesla one last charge. It's pretty full. We're just gonna kind of top it off and then I'm gonna go get a blanket situated in the back seat for Bubby because this He's not great in a car, and a blanket really helps him. So I'm gonna go grab a Sunday Citizen blanket and tuck it in there because it's extra soft and extra gushy, and hopefully that will help him relax and be comfortable. I have a huge swell. These are called Ramblers. They're enormous. It doesn't look nearly as big on camera. Filled with really good water. I have a bowl in here for Bubba's and some milk bone treats, two bananas. I put Steven's favorite Laura bar, apple pie, and then my go-to is an RX bar. So I have an RX bar in there. I'm gonna just close it up in this little Yeti lunchbox. This is my like work lunchbox. And then I also picked myself up a water while I was at Target. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my wallet on case we pass a cute antique store because there's some out there. I ended up not doing my Sunday Citizen blanket because I realized there's a lot of white on it but I have this old Pendleton one. So I have to stop talking because Adele is playing and I don't want to get a copyright. We have just arrived at Letchworth. I'm gonna turn you around and show you how pretty it is. I love these stone tables they put in the park. It's so beautiful. I also brought a bag with us in case I find some really good leaves. I'm also very nervous that it's going to be very muddy and that I'm gonna spend most of my time when I get home cleaning up the car.
I have one of my bags with me and I've just been collecting leaves that I'm going to use for our tablescape. My leaf hunting has gone very well. I have found almost all that I will need and anything that we find on top of that is just extra. Steven and Bubby are up there, a little ahead of me. I'm slow in looking for leaves. I was just teasing Steven. I <laughs> recommended the docuseries Wild Crime and I was like, we will not be replicating that on this trip. But we're having a beautiful day. It is way colder than I thought it was, but it's a nice fall day. We are wrapping up our hike, and now we have a little bit of a drive home, but we're gonna heat up that lasagna soup and warm back up. It was a beautiful, beautiful day, and I got all the leaves I need for my Thanksgiving tablescape. See you when we get home. We are back from our walk, and I went antique shopping, and I picked up stuff. First of all, I found an antique woven rug. It is beautiful, and I think I'm actually gonna replace my ruggable. And then while in the car, I bought a seagrass rug there, so it's just neutral. And then I also found this stunning cheese box. It's just so pretty. So I got this, and then they had this dough bowl, and I picked it up as well but I'm most excited for this rug. So I'm gonna get the ruggable wrapped up and then see, sweep this floor up and get it down so you guys can see it. Okay, are you ready? I'm so excited. Look at the rug. I love, it's all hand woven. So you can see like it's not perfectly straight, but I actually love the character that that brings. And I love the worn spots where it's coming through. And then I have my dough bowl over here. Steven actually has my boast block because I need it sanded down and then I'm just gonna re-oil it. That's what you do when it starts to get stained and marked up. Steven just sands it down and then I oil it. I'll show you how I do that in a minute. And then over here, I put my cheese box. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. I'm in love with this. Ah! I've been looking everywhere for one. I've not been able to find one, and then we walk into a little antique store there, and it's the perfect one. I walked out, and I took a picture of it in the store, and I met up with Steven, because he had Bubba's. And it's like, I found a rug I really like. It's more than I want to spend. Um, but then I showed it to Steven, and he agreed that it was, it was the one. So, Ugh, I'm thrilled with it. Steven just sanded it for me. It's really nice, it just gives it like a new fresh um, surface to work from. If you get any stains on it, he sands them out for me. He did both sides. But now all I do is I oil it. So I just take some olive oil or grapeseed oil, just it depends whatever oil I have. It takes a lot of oil, just so you know. And now I will just rub that in with a paper towel all along the top, all along the edges. Yep, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's how easy it is, but I love this thing. I also love that I just started leaving it out on my counter at all times. Steven and I just do use it constantly. It's such a good Christmas gift too. All right, I'm just going to oil this up and then put it back in its place. That's all oiled. You can see how it changed in color a little bit. And I'm just gonna set my antique dough bowl. I love like that warmth that that adds. Ugh, this rug, it's so good. So for lunch, I'm actually going to heat up the lasagna soup and then I'm gonna put the rest of it into containers for lunch this week. It gets a little thick on you, you can see. I'm just going to add a little bit more chicken stock. I'm not gonna overdo it. Maybe a cup, a cup and a half. 
give it a stir while it's heating up and just loosen it back up. I went ahead and laid out all of my leaves to dry. You could see like I got like a lot of like that tobacco-y brown. So I have this set here and then I have all of these up here drying. I'm just gonna let these sit for a really long time. Then eventually, as we get closer to getting ready to use them, I will give them a spritz with hairspray just to lock them in. But I'm really happy with the colors I found. They'll be beautiful how I'm imagining them for the tablescape. All of my Vlogmas reads are in and you guys have been asking what I'll be reading during Vlogmas so that you can pick them up. So this is what I'm doing. I love a good Christmas mystery. They're sometimes hard to find. I'm doing The Worst Noel, a Juniper Junction holiday mystery. I also picked up Mary Kay Andrews' new release, The Santa Suit. I love her books, they're such quick reads. And then I found these two that I'm really excited about, The Christmas Card Crime and Other Stories by Martin Edwards. It is from the British Library Crime Classics, so I know they'll be really well written. And I love the fact that it's additional stories. And they also had an, another one called Silent Nights. So I bought these two from the British Library of Crime Classics. I've linked all of my books down below so that you can grab them. But those are going to be my Vlogmas reads. I'll probably start them in November and have to grab some, <laughs> some others. This old man is really tired from his walk. Are you seepies? Are you seepies from your walk? Are you? Are you? Yes, you is. You were such a good boy on your walk today. Yes, you was. Yes, you was. Oh my goodness, we love you. We love you, old man. We love you so much. We love you so much. Friends, in all honesty, the rest of this day is going to be spent chilling out and relaxing. Why did that feel like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air <laughs> song? <laughs> it felt like we were chilling, relaxing, shooting some b-ball outside of a school. I don't know. It just felt like the start of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song. But it's going to be a really chill Sunday from here on out. I think I'm going to end this vlog, pick it up next week. And we are halfway through October, which means we're halfway through Vlogtober. All the love that you've been giving these videos means the world to me. Please keep it up, give it a thumbs up, share the channel, spread our little happy space here on the internet with everyone, and let's make it a great upcoming week. My hair. I washed it and put a hat on, so I'll keep my camera right here. But I will end it like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind, my friends. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be Friday. Bye-bye.